welcome to the ministry in this 1750 point game of Warhammer 40k 8th edition. Today the Space Marines are going to be taking on the Tyranids and we're going to have the Ultra Marines against High Fleet Kraken. It's not um, Tom's Pink Nids today, we're going to be Michael's Kraken, so we'll have a look at those guys. Just a quick overview of the table there. Keeping this scenery, there's quite a lot on there, but obviously not a lot of scatter stuff all around today. Keeping it quite simple, quite clean. We don't know what the mission is yet, we're going to have a roll up now. And then we'll come back and have a look at the armies as well. So it's late on and whilst editing this I realised I've chopped a bit of my army out. So, <laughs> well, it's gone. I can't find it. It's laid anyway. So um, I thought I'd talk over the army list and throw in a description as to what it is. So I'm just looking at it on the screen over this side now. So we've got a battalion detachment and a super heavy auxiliary detachment. Um, we've got a captain with Thunderhammer Storm Shield, and um, we've got Chief Librarian Tigarius, Ty who has got um, Null Zone, Veil of Time, Mate of Heroes. We've then got in two intercessor squads with the Grenade Launcher on the Sergeants, two five man squads. We've got a five man scout squad with Bolas, and the Sergeant's got a Chainsword, no Camo Cloaks, and there's a Heavy Bolter in there. We've got two Hellblaster squads of five, stock with the standard guns, an interceptor squad of five with the assault bolas, venerable dreadnought with missile launcher and twin lads. We've got an apothecary stock. We've got a Primaris ancient with his banner, and then there's a super heavy. We've got Gilliman. Would they Gilliman? He's going to be the warlord. I'm going to pay some points for some relics. So on the captain, we're going to give him the shield eternal. Um, we're going to take the banner of the Emperor Ascendant, so people die and I'll be getting back up on a 3-up. And for the Apothecary, we're going to give him the Tita Terra, because we can. Um, so, sorry, sorry I deleted the stuff, these things happen, can't find it, searched everywhere, but <laughs> it's not on here. And it's not on the computer, apologies, but that's that's the list basically, it comes in at 1750. Um, and it'll not be down to 8 command points after I've taken 3 for the extra relics. Sorry, my math is a terrible. We're down at eight because obviously it'd be five plus three and three is eleven. Um, and like I said, Gilliman's a warlord, so he's got Adept of the Codex as his warlord trait, so he'll be getting command points back on a five. Let's take a look at High Fleet Kraken. Just before I forget, Tigeris's powers are Might of Heroes, Veil of Time, and Null Zone. You can cast two a turn, and you can deny two a turn, so hopefully you should come in pretty handy. Right, so this is Michael's Tyranid Force. Um, I would have guessed a Kraken, but not today. He's going to go for something different, so I'll let you go over what you've got. I'll do some zooming in. Okay, so it's a Painted Kraken, but it's actually going to use High Feet Behemoth just for a change, to try it out. Never tried it out before. So the HQ is a Flying Hive Tyrant. Uh, WYSIWYG, he's got uh, the Scythes, and he's got the Relic, the Scythes of Tyrant. Yeah. And uh, Twin Link Devourers. He's also got Adrenal Glands and Toxin Sacks. Nice. Uh, same again, adrenal glands and toxin sacks for the second in command, but he actually has got the uh, monstrous uh, rending clothes, yep. not the side and crown. Cool. These are two uh, trigons, not trigon primes, they're both just trigons. Uh, 24 devil gones, and guess what's going to happen yeah. with them. Um, two units of three rippers. Uh, then we've got a squad of carnifexes. These are the, the gunboard Carnifexes, so they've got a Venom Cannon and a set of Twinling Devourers um, and the um, Enhanced Sensors, um, so the, the hit on threes. This one's not quite WYSIWYG because I didn't have another Scythan Talon on, so it hasn't really got two because you can't do that, yeah. but it's only got the one. Um, and then you've got three Fight Effexes, which have got the Tusks instead of the, the um, Enhanced Sensors, and they've got two sets of... Uh, massive size, monstrous size and talons, and all five fexes have got the sports <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Then you've got yourself two uh, neurothorps in the middle, just. Oh, I hate the woods. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's, they are uh, good, aren't they? They're, they're solid at the they center of the unit. Can it not? 70 points are ridiculous, but um, yes, yeah, so that's 1750. That's cool, that. And then obviously, look, that's, um, look at all those big, huge, scary, monstrous <laughs> things, and then you've got not much there. But is, that, is that it? That's it. Oh, dear. That's it. So command points, you'll be rocking... Uh, I 
I've got the a battalion, a battalion with the three troops and the two HQs, and then I've got the is it the spearhead? Spearhead for yeah. the heavy one. Yeah. So you've got nine. nine. You'd be on nine. Yeah. I'm on eight because I've spent some on the relics. Yeah. So we'll go through those later on. Okay. And we've got we've got maternal war missions. In, was it no mercy, which is yeah. just kill each other, kill each which other. is going to be quite good because to be fair, beforehand I said to Michael. I didn't want to make a massively strong list, and Mike, I don't think Michael has. He's just chucked together a lot of stuff he wants to use. And I think I'm looking forward to getting this guy into fight and stuff. Yeah. Because, Rather than just sitting back and letting big guns like, blow stuff out of the water next to him. You're going to be fighting because. Because um, I have to. All that deep strikes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be looking for stuff and just, well, yeah, it's going to be a scrap. So we'll get back, we'll get the army set up, and then we'll see who goes first. Right, so the tables are down. We've got a spearhead assault set up, which is the sort of bigger triangle going this way. So the Tyranids don't have much on the table, but they do have a lot to come up into the Marines. Now, obviously, this is kill confirmed, isn't it, or something? So just kill stuff. So the Marines are sort of spread out a bit down here. Um, their table edge went sort of to this point up here. Oh, it's scary. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a fight, but look, I can't really see anything. I've got a couple of views on stuff. And then these guys down here, I'm just, I think this is going to be a good game. I think it's going to be brutal, it's yeah. going to be fast. I think if it goes to turn four, it'll be lucky. Yeah, but, it's, about, um, it's about keeping your uh, it's about keep, health last as alive. Well, I think for me, it's just about keeping distance yeah. as long as I can. Putting yeah. as much wound on your stuff before you contact us. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to be very hard <laughs> if I can't see them. But anyway, the Nids finished first, which is massively surprising, but they did. <laughs> I think it's just because you've got so many big clumps, haven't you? You've got like the yeah. Fexes as well. Yeah, yeah. Characters, I mean, your little yeah characters. the little characters make a big difference and the fact you can get two or three corn effects and they can be a unit to drop yeah. is strong right. so you get a plus one do you want to roll first so if i roll a six it's boring you roll a six i'm just going to try and seize well you've got to roll a six well, hey, it's a draw it's a draw so roll again not this time right. <laughs> the chances i get two sixes in a row well i'm going to try and seize because the chance that this yeah. guy can start killing something Ooh, no i wasted my six too early so come back and be him off to him one. Right, so we've had a an advance pretty much all around, wasn't it, from the forces of the Nids? Yeah, uh, every corner effects advanced to bar this one. Yeah, so he just popped out the corner. And then Michael, cautious that I do have a unit to drop in, has just dropped his Ripper Swarm down here to deny early access to this these chewy units down here. So with that, not really much to cover. It's just going to be, like I said, a clash in the middle by the looks of this. So would you want to go straight into the psychic phase? Yeah, I do. Right, okay. So we'll start with these boys. So we'll start with him, and he will uh, smite on them. He's just in range. Yeah, just in 24. Right. I'm out of deny range as well, so... Oh, oh. this always happens to the screen unit. <laughs> right. <laughs> D6. D6 mortal wounds. Oh. Oh. That is terrible. That's Sorry. first blood, but... Yeah. There we go. That is horrific. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, back on. We'll move them in a second. He's going to onslaught to the one that advanced. The one that the advanced, The yeah. one that advanced. That goes off, yep. so that one can shoot okay. So he can shoot fine. He can charge as well if he wants. Uh, yeah, he can uh, only smite because he's uh, six screams out of range. He's 24. What have we got? Don't you think? Yeah. The, It'll have to be them yeah, guys. Those guys are in range. Uh, yes, we'll do that. So we're looking for six now. Yeah, six now. Nope, so that doesn't go, I'm not going to reload nope. it. Um, that's it. And that's it. So first blood, bye bye scouts. So, you know what I'm doing yep. straight away. Into the shooty phase. So, um, these guys will just copy and paste each other, I'll just check. We'll go into there, and then the heavy venom cannons will go into, into the dread. Into what man was saying. I don't think he's 50% for that. Well, sorry, I've got to nominate as well to start the shooting phase. Okay. He can nominate a target, and I'm going to make these him minus one to hit. Him? Yeah. The oh, dread. Should, should you have done that before? Like, it's well, it's at the start of the shooting yeah. phase. To be honest, that's why I put them in cover. That's what I was always going to nominate. Because they're going to die anyway, but I need to save some las cannons for some fexes. Right, well, I'll be. So you can change your target if you want, yeah. yeah. I'll do the, the 18 over here and I'll do the heavy venom cannons at these boys. Yeah, they have lasters, yeah. yeah. Cool. For that instead. Right, so we'll do the 18 shots. Do you want us happy for us as one unit? Yeah, because they can only reach that unit anyway, so. Yeah. So the first one's 12 shots at them. So they all hit. Pretty good. Strand six. And for threes. Threes. Oh, it's gonna sting. So you've got six. six. Ooh, drop that. Uh, not a good one. So basically, this guy got the benefit of the barricade. 
because Mike was running his one wounds. Wound. So one. So basically he was on a two up save, made all. I used the command point, I think it was the third one I failed or something, but he failed two eventually anyway, so he died. But now they're not behind the barricade. You got one wound. So I've got any minus on this one? Nah. So yeah, so he's good. So we've lost the marine out of that squad. So we've gone to the venom cannons against yeah, the hellblasters. Yeah, against the hellblasters. So two D3s. Way. Oh nice, this is going to be over quickly the Tyranids. <laughs> You're getting 11 damage, you like smites and stuff. Oh hit. Oh nice. <laughs> ah, so I'll be doing some rerolls to wound. So hang on, strength 9, T4. So two Twos. Two wounds, right? Oh, I'll reroll one of them. May as well. Yeah, come, come on, by one. Yeah, so. so that's down, five. Five at minus two. Yeah, five four ups. So for five four ups. So we'll save three, so two guys have died. I'm going to take the two guys off that are within six of the banner. As you would. So on three up, they'll get to do stuff. Yep, yeah. they both get to shoot. So we'll take them off and then we'll do the stuff. Two shots each. Oh no, two shots, yeah. Because uh, we're over 15. Yeah. So you can't reroll, everything else is a hit. Yeah. So basically, the two guys here are going to overcharge. They're going to shoot this corn effects here. This one? Um, I don't think it makes any difference. I'll just go for that one. That one? They're both yeah. loaded up the same one. Exactly there. the same. So we're overcharging. So we'll get the minus one hit. Re so I can re-roll that because Gilliman's there. So that misses yep. because you've got your minus one hit. And with strength eight, so we're looking for threes to wound, which it does wound, and that's no save because it's minus four. Yep. And that'll be two damage. Two damage. Yep. That one's down to six. Yep. Everything really yep. So that's it for turn one. So we're yep. going to go into Marine turn one. Morale's fine for everybody. I can't believe those scouts are dead. <laughs> but um, we're going to Marine turn one. You got a hole in your lines. So the Marines have moved, um, ish. So these guys have pushed up. The guy coming here, to, I got a hell blaster back. I forgot what you call it. This guy got a hell blaster back. The apothecary. I used to come up with another captain staying up. Captain Michael's just telling us to drop these guys in because I think I need to put as many bullets down range as I can. Um, and everyone else just basically did a shuffle forward. I know it's closing the distance, but they're going to get surrounded pretty much soon enough. So I need to try and hurt as much stuff as I can in range. That's my theory anyway. So we're going to go into the psychic phase. And we're going to put... Hmm. We're going to go with... Smite out of range. So we're going to go with Veil of Time. Which is reroll charges. Uh, we'll go Mighty Heroes on... Gilliman. Really? Which goes off. I don't think I'm in. I'm definitely not with an 18 of you. <clears throat> so he is might have heroed. And then reroll charges and stuff like that. And all your noise attack first. We're going to go on the. Go on these guys. Oh, that goes off as well. Just a bit of defensive spells there, even though I know what's probably going to happen. So anyway, we'll go straight into the shooting phase. So we're going to start with the Hellblasters down here. They're going to overcharge and go into um, this guy that's wounded already. Yeah, okay. So it's two hits so far and I can re-roll these because Gilliman's there. So they miss, but they don't die. I've got three hits. Oh, we've got two, four wounds on them because it's minus four. Yeah, the re the rewards for Gilliman because there's no save on the minus four. Four wounds, you say? Yeah. yeah. So he's down to two. We're going to go with the other Hellblaster squad. There's going to go at the other guy. There's only four of these guys left alive because we lost one. So again, these can both reroll. Ooh, dead. So one is dead. So on a three up. No, I'm going to command point that. Yeah, so he can sh oh, he can't know it's a two. Looked like a three there through the cover. So we've lost the Hellblaster. So we'll take him off. And then we're looking for threes. So that's six. Six damage on that other one. So he's down to two. I'll get rid of this Hellblaster, so don't forget. So Gulliman's going to lend some fire. Hand of Dominion. Or this one. Yeah. So he's hitting on twos. Uh, twos, but you just, but yeah, just roll it. We know what's happening. So, so can't re-roll that two. Because it'll miss. Or we'll re-roll the one. So he's got a one hit. Strength six. Reroll. So he gets a wound. Minus one. Minus one. He's good. He's good, he's saved. And that would have been two damage, worth a little tickle. Um we'll go this squad here, the intercep intercessors. Intercessors. I'll do uh, all the guns at this one. 
and the crack will need it this one right so actually I'll just shoot everything at that one yeah, yeah. it's easier so there's four guys isn't there yeah well one of them should crack yeah. grenade though I think these are yeah so they're just out of rapid fire range so we're looking for threes missing yeah that's two hits for fives so re-rolling yep so there's one wound at minus one that's definitely cocked so it's good. good and the crack grenade He's missed, but he can't re-roll that because it would have been a hit. The back squad are going to go at the same target. So we've got four guys, we can re-roll these. So we've got one hit. Re-roll that. Re that one. That's a wound. Yeah, so he's lost that one. Lost Don't lose last one. And the crack grenade. Can re-roll. It's a hit. Re-roll. So, no, it's not a wound because he's T7, isn't he? Yeah, annoyingly. So, that's pretty much everything there, apart from. Oh, I've got this guy as well. He'll shoot his bolt rifle at the one on one wound. Oh, it was that dice. Missed. It matter. Missed. Well, they both missed anyway. Hmm. Yeah. What's left? Hellblaster. Second Hellblaster. This guy. This guy. No, the second Hellblaster's a fail. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Your, uh, your heavy water flyer dudes. Yeah, they haven't fired yet. But I'm hoping this guy's gonna split fire. Twin lads into the one with more wounds, missile into the other. Oh, that's definitely cooked. What was that? That was a two. So he's hit with a missile. Yeah. And the twin lads. He's hit even with the minus ones, he's venerable. Oh, right. So he's twos. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's not in range of Gulliman though, he's just half an inch out. Got you. So two lasers. This is the one with two on. Two the the lasers on the one with more wounds. Yeah, and yeah, the missile on the one with one. So the two lasers. Both wounds. So six wound. is double six. So he's. Ooh, so he's saved you one. Could, you do a, Are you command pointing it? Nah. Not no. Six. I'll roll to save the missile wounds. Yep. So the missile wounds as well. Uh, at minus two. Yeah. So that would be a five up. No. I will command point the five. Yep. Got yeah. Because he's got one wound left, so he'd be dead anyway. Nah. No. So, so he's dead. Then we've got D six damage. Any yeah, but a one D. Oh, he's definitely Four dead. Don't up anyway. two, two, two. Which leaves these guys to put all their shots into the closest vex. And I'm going to roll those dice off camera. Yeah. So we'll just tally these up quickly because there was a lot of dice there. So that's pretty much the end of the shooting phase. So these guys managed to put six wounds on that guy, which I'm quite happy about, feeling quite a lot of saves and stuff. So with that, that's the end of my turn one. And I think the scores at the minute are... It's 2 1 because I've killed two corner fixes and you killed. No, it's 2 2 because you've got first blood as well. You killed the scouts. So, with that, 2 2. Let's go. Going to turn it, turn 2. And this is where the herd is going to happen. <laughs> so, the end of the movement phase, and that was probably the longest mo end of movement phase ever. I think Michael, all these big turners that were dropping in, literally measuring up all around. But anyway, the warlord wants to come here and he's got the plus one attack on the charge. If we didn't mention that, pause his warlord trade. And we're, we're keeping all spec scan in my pocket because Michael was bait and went, we knew he was. So this guy's just 12 inches away from down here, but these guys are just out. That guy landed to try and eat some from the Hellblasters, but I knew it was a ruse. So this guy then landed and we're all spec scan with the Hellblasters and took a massive 10 wounds off him or something else, was Ten it? Wounds, yeah. And Michael used the command point. Two of the Hellblasters burnt themselves to death doing it, but that's again increased the charge distance, so I'm happy ish with that. Um, and for command points for getting them and getting them back, we've rolled. I'm down to three command points. I managed to get one or two back here or there. That's it. So I'm on three. Michael's on six or seven. Seven command points. Whew. We're going into the sh psychic phase. Uh, yes, we'll start with. Um, yeah, we'll start with. Uh, smite. Smite in the front unit, yeah. yeah so we'll smite first. Uh, we were one, but there's no point. Are you sure? I'll, I'll just do it in case it goes crazy. Is it a five? It's a nine. Fine. Same thing, right? So that's my I'm going to have to let that go off, I think, because there's going to be a bucketload of powers coming in. Three so wounds. three wounds on the guys in front, which one is these guys. Yeah. yeah. So we'll hang on. Pause but you screen yeah, you might as well go for it. Because it no, could be. I'm not going to do the psychic screen. <laughs> there, the closest now. Um, yeah, we'll measure up, see which one. Right, we'll that. So it goes off on a nine. Uh, yeah, we'll have to check. measure, see who's closer, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to deny it anyway, it's still too high. So three on these guys as well, so we'll lose one of those and another wound. Yeah. So we'll just point that out because I forgot to point out before. So there's one of these guys died, one wounded. We got to shoot with a banner. 
we put, we've got, was it four or five wounds on her? And she saved them all, which was a <laughs> very scary moment. Right, but, she's now going to um, smite these boys. Okie dokie. So we'll smite, so now that's at... Uh, You've only done it, no, you've done it twice, twice yeah. Done it twice on psychic scream, so now it's up at seven. Sevens, yeah. So it doesn't go off, but then she'll psychic scream. You've already psychic screamed, haven't you? I didn't do it. Oh no, yeah, that's right, you didn't. One. So it doesn't go off. Uh, I should have tried to deny. That's a plus side, you know what I mean? I'm trying to deny it, oh, yeah, so yeah, I'll so let I think me. we're just all the way over there now. Yeah. So she is going to. Uh, ca She's got Catalyst and Paroxysm, did you say? Or the, no, was it the this, horror? This one's got Paroxysm. So Catalyst. So it's going to Catalyst um, herself. Goes off on a nine. Right, we'll attempt to deny that. Nope. nope. And then she's got Horror. Which she is going to put on these boys. The Hellblasties. Yeah. Uh, I will. If you have you used the command point? No. So I'm going to reroll that. I don't think that's off. I think it's Double a check. I'll tell you what. So you can you deny twice. Deny first. You would deny anyway. anyway so. Right. Yeah, because Tiggy gets to deny twice, just in case anyone's wondering. I'm going to spend uh, Psychic Power now to cast, cast next, another Psychic Power. Yeah. So, is he going to smite? Nope. She's going to Paroxysm. Paroxysm, yeah. kill him, man. Which goes? Yep. So, so Gilman fights last. last. Fights last always until my next turn. Unless I veil of time him, which would Put bump it off. To normal. Yeah, yeah. we'll see that. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Not that great. Yeah. Yeah, so this guy's going to open up with these bio pulse or something there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, six shots actually. Yeah. He's not the prime. So get on fours. We're doing all right. Strength five. So wounding on fours, fours against them guys. Yeah. yeah. So two, one wound. One wound. And there's many, no minus, is it? Nope. So he's safe. Good. Right. So then we'll do the other one. We'll do the same thing on that. Yep. Yeah. No, we won't. He will do it on the intercessors because he has to take him off first. So within twelve. Right, changes mind for the Hellblasters then, so he's going to go on the Hellblasters. Didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just like a it's, just, it's a bonus, isn't it? Yeah. So. To mess about with. Right, he'll then shoot his uh, twin link devourers at these boys. At the Hellblasters down there, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot more shots. Wish I could go to ground. Well, no, I don't actually. Wish I could just give you something like the Imperial Guard one, plus one cup save. Please don't go to ground. Not that great. No, Half of them. Three to the wound though, isn't it? Yeah, still not great. Four wounds on the Hellblasters. So we're looking for three ups. No, good. good. I'm laughing. Right, so then him now hitting on fours will um, see he'll go for Hellblasters as well. Yeah, and they're 18 inches. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah the sergeant's just in range down there, so the one's not in cover yet. Yeah, so he's hitting on fours because he's wounded. That's better. He obviously you know, didn't get one. shot in the eye. Yeah, everywhere else. Three, you see that in Nixon. Hellblaster oh, shots. So four wounds again. Four wounds again. One for threes. So we'll drop one. So one is wounded. Yep. Here's Basically, these guys are then going to open up on the Hellblasters. I'm going to roll that off camera. That's a lot of dice. 72. Right? Go so, for it, so, right. so the shooting phase then, pretty much. I don't think you did as much damage as you thought you would do, did you? I think you did more damage yep. than that. I, <laughs> I did. So basically, what happened is. This guy was hurt off the auspex anyway, so he didn't do it. He actually did pretty well in wounding. And he come against the... Did he go against the fly dudes? Either way, well, a couple of the fly dudes died, but they shot back. And you had to spend a command point to save her last He dropped wound. in a new auspex scan. Auspex scan. And then everything that died, you were shooting at it. Yeah, I kept basically, yeah. So these gribblies were putting loads of shots in down here. The Hellblasters eventually died. And what happened is these guys that died, I put some shots into her, knocked her down. Michael used a command point or the otherwise, that hive town would be dead. And then the rest of the stuff basically was the Hellblasters who only one of the guys got to shoot with a banner, but he actually managed to melt the last corn effects that was on two wounds. Yeah. So the other corn effects is this guy advanced, he can't charge. So we've managed to kill how many corn effects? Right, he got the onslaught off. Onslaught. Oh, Alright, sorry. Yeah. So we managed to kill three corn effects, which isn't bad so far. Not and get a hive tear and don't go a wound. Basically dead hive tears. So Michael's just debating whether he wants to use his stratagem to I'm shoot again. The debate. Are you going? I'm going to double tap and get rid of these because otherwise you're just going to melt with there your rerolls. If they, in my turn, if they get to shoot with the rerolls. Prediction is I kill them, but the banner shots kill him. You reckon? Yeah. I might actually put them down there, range, but to be fair, they're out of charge range now, I think, anyway, yeah. so he's still a potential threat this turn, they're not. So two command points. Two command points, yeah. Down four. So again, we'll roll these off camera because there's a bucket load of dice. 
So all the shooting's done. Basically, these guys lost a couple of guys, and we put one of them fired over there, managed to finish off the hive tyrant, and the other one put his guns over there and actually killed six. Hit with everything. Basically, predictive or predictors, wasn't it? Yeah, that yeah. she would die or he, whatever you call them. At least the Tom, because he's always like causing girls, uh, you know, so she would die. But I'm choosing not to uh, choose a gender. Of yeah, I'm pretty happy with that for the shooting phase. Like, yeah. I was expecting to lose stuff, but the stuff I lost managed to do stuff in return. So I'm pretty happy with that. But this is going to hurt the next phase. No, it's not because everything's out of range now. Do you know what I reckon? Yeah. Well, a lot of stuff is. They're out of range. The corn effects down there with onslaught is awesome. in range. Yeah. But we'll let, do you want to? Do you know what you're going to do? Or are you going to think about it? Uh, I don't think. Think. Yeah. yeah. So Michael's had to think. We're going to do the charge walls on camera. Yeah. And then we're going to do the overwatch off camera. So basically, this guy's going against the dread. This corn effects is coming against both units. These both. This unit's going against the Hellblasters, yep. and this corn effect is going here. Now, we've added in the adrenal glands, so do you want to start this side? So he needs a, an 11, 11, did you say? 11 with a reroll. With the glands, yeah. The glands. He gets a reroll. Uh, now, you can command point it, or you nah, reroll both. a 6. No, so, he's not doing And anything. he needed a 10. 10 with a reroll. With the glands and a reroll. You can command point it, or you reroll both. No, nope, reroll both. He's not an important one. So he's not in. Six with a reroll. Yeah, six with a reroll from this guy. Oh. He's in. Oh, he's in. Just so we'll put him at the wherever he wants to go. Yeah, I think you'll tag, you'll tag both. both of them, yeah. Right? yeah. And then this guy. This guy, it'll be an eight with a reroll. So yeah. a deep strike. So he's, he's in. in. Yeah. So we'll do some overwatch off camera and see what happens. So these guys didn't overcharge, put a wound on that guy down there. This corn effect will be fair, make it what a charge a close I one. But I'm more than happy to agree to that. So that guy got in, so these guys don't overwatch him, but come down here, I think I took a whoop. no, I didn't, he threw three sixes on his saves. Yeah, I so I made his save, this guy got hit with the last cannon, but made a six up in one, or a four up in one anyway. So, going into Michael's assault phase, this could be an end of a venerable dreadnought and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah so, bye-bye Ven Dread. Yeah. Okay, so, this is the deal with this guy. Uh, he's got four tax base. Yeah. Yeah, he's got that warlord trait with plus, plus one, one attack, the size of tyrants plus one attack. Uh, he still rerolls ones and any sixes he gets an extra attack with the size of tyrant. And yeah. he's plus one strength, so he's strength seven. Seven, yeah, it's good. Okay, so, and I have to declare before the start of the fight phase, I'm going to use the monstrous hunger stratagem when you reroll wounds. Oh, you don't, yeah. So that knocks you down to three. We're both on three points now. Right, okay, so, do the little tail first. <laughs> <laughs> it's on a two. It's strength six, wound on a five. Right, it's got that out I thought way. that was going to wound out, so I was going to. Just get it out of the way. So then these are the attacks, sixes generate more. Okay, reroll that, no sixes. There's another one there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, generates so another one. Attack. Yeah. Reroll hit. Reroll uh, wound on four, isn't it? It's strength yeah. seven strength, now. strength six base, but he's seven yeah. with the so size of Tyrant. And I've got the reroll of the wound, and I've got adrenal glands, so sixes are nasty. Yeah. Right, so there's one six, and you can reroll the rest, or two sixes, sorry. So nothing. So those sixes, which you need six to save there, uh, four minus, damage. They're minus three on there? Yeah, and these are three damage. So they both go through, so you'd be dead that. anyway. Well, you've got to do that anyway because you've got your venerable saves. Oh, true. So they have much four damage yeah, so each. Well, yeah. So yeah. there's eight to save and then two on. Three damage each. And what are the minus on that? Minus three? Minus three, yeah. So they're all sixes to save, but yeah, just yeah, less just, damage. Just different damage. Yeah. So, it's, so oh, God, he's uh, dead. damage. Four. Now this is off the double fours. Let's see if I save any of these. Well, he saved two. Yeah. So he's six, he's got two wounds left. I got the six now. Yeah, I've got the six. Now he's dead. <laughs> Does he blow up? No, he doesn't. Then I'll let you can do your consolidate now. Um uh, good. Good? Oops. I don't interrupt because he already has that veil of time. Oh, right, so because yeah. you charge you go first. So he is the sergeant, so he gets three attacks. They, that's cocked. It's hard to tell sometimes when you've got the camera. So they all hit. They all wound. I know you'll probably save all these, but I said before, didn't I? You're like, why did I do that? I was like, I don't know, but if a Carnifex charges, I might get a couple of wounds on it. <laughs> you, got a, you got two wounds. And I on. did. It was for that one that was on two wounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually paid off, but it's still alive. So it's... I'll do me um, I'll do me charge mortal wound thing first. So on a four up, he takes a mortal yeah. wound. If he had one wound left, I would have probably paid two yeah, points yeah, now yeah. to interrupt. Right. Yeah, so he takes a mortal wound. Yeah, it's on the Discord, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't pick. I picked him. You picked him, right? Yeah. So, oh, he's just on the one wound. Just on the one wound. Right, and then uh, I'll put my bone mace on him. Yeah. And I'll put all my other attacks on, on him. Yep. Yeah. So he's got four attacks base. Uh, he's got one farm, two sets of 
one for his talons, yeah. And then one for the tusks. Yep. Right, so we'll do them one later, set those first. So because he charged, Carnifex hits on threes and does indeed. Fours. And then he's strength six. He's so on threes. Threes. So these are sixes and the three damage. And these are on the intercessors. Intercessors, yes, you can lose them. So they're definitely yes. dead. So what we'll do is save the three guys because they can punch you back. They can't shoot. So all three get to do an attack. Mm -hmm. And we can reroll because Gilliman's still within six. Wish I had power swords now. So three, <laughs> three more wounds. Oh, you good. save them all. So they're dead. We'll take them off in a second because you've got your attacks against the Bone other guy. Bone mace hits on a three. Yeah, strength eight. So, so three threes. I think it's minus one. Check what you get. Well, it's tattled. It's D three damage. So he's dead. I might come on point that one because he's got six bullets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come on point that one. Oh, do I get it back? No. Does he do something? Yes. He punches. He punches a Carnifex again. Hits. He wounds. <laughs> hey, my fists. There you oh, go. Oh, so, so that squad put <laughs> three, four no, wounds. Him, him. He put three yeah, wounds. He's a boss. He's, he's a, a boss. dead boss, though. Yeah. So that's the end of Michael's turn two. That's a pretty good turn two. And with that, we're going to go into Space Marines, who there's not many guys left alive now. Let's see what we can do in our turn th two. So movement done. The castle has shifted. Smash Captain's dropped in. Pretty much anyone that's alive is down here. The Apothecary's going to attempt to get a Hellblaster back. No, he doesn't. I'm not going to waste a command point on that, I think. Or do I? What do you got left? Two. <sighs> nah, it's a 50-50. I'll keep the two. Keep the two command points. And we're going to go into the Psychic phase. So I'm going to attempt Null Zone. Is the first one. So it'll be at a minus one, won't it? But yeah. he can reroll failed Psychic tests. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Michael's liking this because he's got an... Um, it's minus one, so it's failed because Shadow of the Warp. I'll do me. You've got um, you've got an ultra mean army coming on the way, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So he's actually I love him as a little side guy. He's yeah, expensive, he's but he's got a couple of sweet little buffs. Um, so we're gonna cast. Uh, that was a biggie one. I think you needed that one really. Not really, because if he spills over with mortal wounds, then it's still it's wounds, enough yeah. to kill you. But I'm gonna do veil of time on him to get rid of that paroxysm. Right on him. Um, yeah, Good. so you can go first. You can reroll failed. Oh no, fails. So we've got a duff psychic phase. This phase. Well, it probably doesn't matter that much. We're going to go into the shooting. Charging. Yeah. So basically, threw a grenade at this surprisingly from Tagarius and caused a couple of wounds. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Got a catalyst. <laughs> this guy can't shoot. I think what we'll do is we'll do the hell blasters over here, and then we're going to have to see what happens there with all the other little guns. That's two. So down here, basically, two hell blasters died, killed the corn effects with the other guys, um, and everyone around here. I just put small arms into this girl who's got catalyst on, which is. Down to five wounds, so I managed to do some damage. And then kill him and show him how to do it. Well, yeah, he pumped a few, <laughs> pumped a few rounds into her. And I think with that, we'll go into the charge phase. So we're gonna go with the intercessor squad first. Then Tagarius is going in, and Gilliman's going in. Over. So you get to do some Overwatch. Intercessors first, yeah. Yes. Well, they're definitely in because they're four inches away. So. Yeah. Oh, hits. <laughs> three wounds. Three wounds. So three two ups. No, three three ups because they're not all yeah, in cover. Yeah, yeah. Um, they made them anyway. Yeah. So we'll start moving everybody in. So anyway, this guy as well, he attempted, he needed an 11 to get there because obviously the corn effects he was going to count that as dead. Um, but he didn't make it in. So everyone's there. So charge us first. I don't know how many command points. Michael's got two. two. So I'm going to start with Tagarius just so he doesn't get his head whopped off. <laughs> So three attacks, hitting on threes, all hit, and wounding, he goes up to strength seven, because yeah. it's plus three, so wound on fours, re-rolling because of Gilliman, oh, two wounds, and these are D3 damage a pop, but he's got two four of in ones. Uh, you um, haven't used the command point in the fight phase. No, I'm just going to quickly check, two wounds save So D3 damage, because he's not going to command point it, oh, just a one. Five up. No, so he's nope. so down to another wound. Are you spending two points to interrupt? Nope. No, nope. so we're going with the intercessor squad. I totally wish I put power swords on these guys now. Okay. Let's see if these boys can do it before that big papa has to step in. Well, go last. Go last. <laughs> yeah. 
It's pretty shit. Yeah, we told them why because paroxysm is why it's going last. Yeah, paroxysm for the sake of power, yeah. Which is why we try to counter it with veil of time, because veil of time makes you go first. Yeah, yeah. Unless you've charged or whatever. We, we had a chat about it and agreed that if it's, yeah, it will cancel each other out. So that's not bad. They all hit bar one. Now we're looking for fives. Come on, Gilliman's watching. Ooh. That was the one, wasn't it? Tell you what, he's a, he's a tool, isn't he? Eight. She's got eight, four, uh, three ups. Yeah, there's no way to play on these other things. No. Just corners. That's how you do it. Two. Two. Down to three wounds. Still decent showing. One. Down to, down to, down to four. She's just lost a wound, didn't she? Down to three wounds, yeah. Is that right? Three, yeah. yeah. Three, yeah. Right. It's you. It's me. Right, so. Because Gilliman's in slow-mo. Gilliman's in slow-mo. Who are you going to go against? I'm going to go against Gilly. Oh, nice. I think, oh, hang on, what's, uh, what's the Gilly's weapon? Normally standard. He's got he's got no in runs. Hang on. Only got five attacks because he's in charge. Yeah, yeah, so one for Tagarius. So I think he's hitting on a four now. He's at bottom, bottom yeah. right. So re roll ones. So they hit no sixes. So no. And he's strength seven, he said, didn't he? Strength so he'd be three to wound. Three. I haven't popped the, the re roll wound no. thing this time. I need you to feel these. Just, oh, just one. like that. <sighs> Uh, yeah, that's it. So it's just three damage off that if you don't make a six. So uh, six up save. Come on, Tiggy. Nah. Don't so he's good. actually alive. He's down to one wound. Is he? He gets four wounds. Is he? Now it's Gilliman. So the tail we forgot about because this could get him. So it's fours. Ooh. It does hit. Strength six. Ooh. It does wound. Three up, I dead. Um, no, yo! Good, good, good. I thought he was going to die there. Have a little tail. Michael's grin when he's like, I forgot the tail. <laughs> So we're going to go for Gilliman. Go for it. So how many command points are you on? One? Two. Two. So he rerolls his failed, because he is an ultramarine, so they all hit. He's going to be wounded on threes, because he's using the sword. And he sixes out your D3 mortal wounds in addition. Yeah, do you want to just do that? So... The D3 mortals first. Yeah, so we'll do two D3 mortal wounds, because you've got Catalyst. So five mortal <laughs> wounds. That's enough to... Yep, you've got one of those here. So I've got like... Five, three, five three, Catalysts I've first. Like four of these. At least. No, so he's done. need two, so. He's well, he's got three, then he's yeah. got six on This is the cool thing I've never got it done before. Yeah. For one command point, I was going to call it's called implant attack. Oh, so this is. Yeah, I've, I've seen the strat. Right, so if any model has received a wound, for one command point, it's even more mortal wound. Yeah. yeah. So, it's dead. Yeah, I need to check my strats. Yeah, I'll do that. So, That's Michael's right. not going to spend that point. He's going to spend all his command points to fight again, because yeah. that. Could have killed Tagarius because he's the only one he's wounded yeah, so far. Hopefully, but, unless I completely fluff it, I kill him anyway. Well, he wants to. Are you going against him with I'm everything? Split my attacks. I'm going to put the tail and two attacks on uh, Tiggy on the and three on Gilly. Okay, do you want to do Gilly first and save the no, I'll do tension? Gilly. We'll do Gilly last. Yeah, all right, I'll okay. Do Gilly last. Right. I want to do the tail just to get you with the tail and kill you with that first. So it hits on a four because he's not bad. No. Then the two uh, side and town special ones. Oh. I've done it. You, you hit on your last profile, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fluff so as well, yeah. Fluffed it. Oh, do you have any? Right, then... Um, three attacks on Gilliman. Three attacks. Reroll the ones. One hit so far. <laughs> one hit. This hits. is not working very well, is it? Still wounds on a three, though. Yeah, wounds on a three, yeah. So it does. Gilliman saved. And he's in one three up. So that was a complete waste. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You basically yeah. could have killed my Sega, or you just done nothing. Oh, I could just do that and mess it all up. You got, so you got greedy. I blew up, though. So you do <laughs> Which means up. I do it anyway. So you get him. So yeah. it's it's D is it D three mortal wounds? Yeah, yeah. So D three. Well, Tiggy's dead. Tiggy's dead. D three on the intercessors. Three. And then D three on Gilliman. D three on Gilly. So three. three. So yeah. we need to see him as well. he'll be within six. Yeah. D three on the standard bearer. Two. Just two. So the standard bearer. What I need to do is see. We'll see if anyone gets to do stuff. Numbers. So that is the end of the fight phase. So I've got to slay the warlord now. Yeah. Um, this guy that died did put a shot at Bane, killed the Gribbly. Tagarius could have done, but he was out of range of anything, so it was pointless rolling on the banner. And we're left in a pretty pretty sad state, but there's still a lot of big ones. I know it is. I'm in a better position than I thought I would be, your turn three. Yeah. Because I managed to kill, I think, three Fexes before they did anything. True. I think if they got in, I'd be in a much worse situation. Your, your guns are bad now. It's big, yeah, I don't have bad. much gun left. Well, anything they decide to pick on is dead. Yeah. I think with weight and numbers. And then you've got a lot of psychic powers and I've got no denies. So, we just have to hope you're within the psychic phase. And we'll go into turn, turn three. <laughs> yeah. So the noose is tight and so all these guys have advanced. Apart from the Gribbles, did she didn't? He, he didn't advance. He didn't. 
But she did. Yeah, so these ones around here have advanced. Yeah, basically, this captain is now close out of both the side guys. And we're going. Are your rippers moving up? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Then. Yeah, I hope so. Right, so the rippers have moved up, yeah. So, first things first, we'll onslaught him. Yeah, advanced. Yeah, so you'll be able to charge. That's off. Goes off, yeah. So then he'll do a smite, smite against him. For a five. Goes. Just two, three mortal wounds. Just the one. Just one, and then take that. Next one, he'll smite him. Yeah. Go for a six, please fail. It's a fail. It's a fail. No command points. No command points. <laughs> then he'll. Um, psychic scream, is it? Psychic scream. Oh, does that go. goes off D3. And he's got five. So he starts five wounds, a captain, yeah. So he's, he's, took, he's, took two, three. So he's took three wounds. Well, double check, I'm pretty sure our captain's five wounds. Yeah, because it's six in Terminator armor. So he's down to two. The shield eternal, we'll just point out, doesn't kick in because more wounds are than one at a time. So he's got three up in all armor set, wasn't he? Um, two up, yeah, yeah, three up. Yeah. Three up, three up. Okay. So straight into the shooties. Straight into the shooties. Right, okay, so first things first, I'll shoot his electric pulse. Pulse at the Hellblaster, yeah. Hellblaster, let's get rid of him if we can. Hitting on fours. <coughs> One on threes, strength five. Two, Two wounds. wounds. Right. He's got a wound left. I'm wounded everywhere, all over. we're bleeding. <laughs> the old run, Marines are bleeding. You're running out of dice. <laughs> I'm running out of red dice. Right. <clears throat> so. Um, this guy's got oh, electro shot. He pulls he, he has, he has, he has. He has. Um, but I'm going to show I'm going to do that on the captain. In the captain, yeah. See if I can get rid of the captain. That'll be good. Wish I never said no. Three. On average. Easy to all wound. Only one wound. Just one. <laughs> no, good. 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 Shouldn't have done that, Dean. Right, okay. Well, I can cost you anything. Let's think. Uh, I have to split these up in a crazy way. Right, well, let Michael think, think about where he's going to split them up. Now, what we'll do, we'll do a review, come back, just see where they went, because there's a lot of dice. Basically, right. these guys have split their fire into Gilliman from 12 of them, I think it was, and 5 of them. The 5 have already killed the Hellblaster. He didn't do anything with the banner. I'm not going to waste the command point to try and reroll it. We're just going to do it as it is. So I think that's the end of the shooting phase. Like I said, the Hellblast says died. These guys pumped all their shots and actually took a couple of wounds off Gilliman. Failing a couple of armor saves. Um, he actually got a decent wound roll. Pretty bad hit roll, but a lot more wounds out with the hits. So mm. I think it's the charge phase. Charge phase now. Right, so he's going to charge uh, Gilliman. So he'll go first. Just Gilliman or both? Just Gilliman. Yeah. He's going to charge both of them in case he messes that up. Oh, uh, yeah. But he's okay. going to go first. Okay, so we'll do some overwatch off camera. So this guy hit with a crack on here, didn't wound. Gilliman took two. Cup, two wounds off that guy in overwatch. So now, where are you starting with the closer guy? I'll start with the closer I'll have to because I just, he denied the yeah. overwatch that I wanted me. So, can you snake eyes it twice? That's the big question. <laughs> now, so he's in. Right, so he's gonna. Um, so Gilliman won't get the overwatch against this one. No, yeah, he's gonna come in this way within an inch. Yeah. Yeah, and then this one over here, we'll check the Gilliman one. The Gilliman one is balanced, just under seven really. So he's six, isn't he, because he's got his guns? Yeah, so he's yep. got a re-roll. So he's, so in, he's well. in, so he's going for Gilliman and yeah, ignoring the captain. In. It's just in, Gilliman. Let's just take him off. These boys. Yeah, so we'll just point out, obviously, these guys are both heroically intervening because they're within three. And that's it. That's as much as we can do. Yeah, so you're going to start. I'll start with him. I'm pretty sure it's six. I think it's a lot of attacks. Get him into good down here. Seven. Yeah, so that one first, yeah. Parental tail first, it's on a three. Oh, it's as if it's hit. Wood strength, toughness six strength, toughness yeah, six yeah. strength, six, yeah. Four. Does wound, two up in it. No AP on it. No AP. Yep, right, saved. Okay. So the main event. So they've got six attacks plus one for having more than one set of massive Big talons, yeah. Massive size and talons. Big D six damage talons. So threes in the real world ones to hit. Good job. Oh, I think the strength six on this. Seven. Seven, so three's to wound. Take the no, strength seven. Oh, I'll take oh, it. These are all minus three, but you're three of in on that D6 damage each. How many have you got? Six. Six. Come on, Gilliman. Three up in runs. You're gonna re-roll it. You know what I said, I'm keeping one for a save. You've got another one though, haven't you? How many damage are they each? D6. D6. Yeah, go on. We'll re-roll that one. Saved. Yeah. Do I get it back? No, so I'm down to one command oh, point. Right, so toxin spike off the next one. Sorry, the parental tail hits, wounds. 
Oh, oh D3 damage. D3 damage. Two. For two, so he's down to two. two. Yeah. Uh, then again, so you've got seven attacks off this guy now. I think it doesn't matter if any of these go through a number, I was likely to smash him to bits anyway. You know, ones, so one miss so far. Just one miss. Force to wound. No, three to Three, yeah, he's strand seven. So five. Three ups. Don't drop any. Can he make them? He's on two wounds. He did well before with your threes. Come on, make them all. One, you've done very one. Well I've there. done the I've done the command point, so I can't do yeah, anything. To be fair, you would have taken that. At the oh, start. definitely. Right. D six. Anything but a one. He's down. Five. He's down. Does he get back up? So we'd have to do it at the end of the phase. Right. Does that mean he doesn't fight? Um. Yeah. Mm, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, because you can't. Um, that stratagem for the fight again is at the, the end, end after everyone's done it. Yeah. So I would say so. So. I don't think these guys are, oh he's got the Teeth of Terror, he may do something, but um, we'll knock my command points down anyway, and then we'll see what these guys can do. Oh, so these guys have attacked back, we've done a couple of wounds to this guy, so then at the end of the phase... Is the four up he gets up on? Four up. Ooh, with a reroll. Does he get back up? No, oh, Gilliman does not get back up, so I think we needed him to, yeah, okay. but we've still got a smash captain who can hurt stuff, yeah. but whether he's got the survivability to take on the psychic powers, I don't think so. I think a lot will depend... On my turn three. Yeah, do I roll to see if I get the command point back? No, because he's not on the table. No. He's not on the table. It's the same thing. I know, yeah, he's yeah. gone off, isn't he? So we'll go into my turn three. Whew. Strategies from the dead. Turn three. Right, so we've moved, we've shuffled. These guys have stayed in combat. They've shuffled left. He's on the ground floor, but we're just putting him there so we don't move the heat. So we just jump over. So we're going to go into some shooties. Both these guys will pistol this, might as well. <laughs> Two hits. Yep. And one wound. Yeah, he's good. Bit of normal game now, though, yeah. And then these guys are gonna put a. Mm, crack grenade into him, and then I'm gonna double fire everything down at the gun. So. How many guys are left? Normal three. So we'll do a red dice for a crack, crack missile. Can we roll ones? Because there's a that was a two, I think. Because there's a captain now within six. Oh, missed. Uh, threes to kill on the white and fours to wound on the red. So one, dead, one gribbly one dead wound. and a wound on the big fella. Over there. So it's a minus one, so four of armor. It's good. He's good. What's the range of synapse on those? Twelve. Ah, so they, yeah, yeah. So they're good. Um, crack grenade from the captain. He hits. Doesn't wound because he's T six. I think that's the end. So we're going to go in the charge phase. Yeah, we're all going in. Just trying to whittle as many wounds yeah, off it as we can. Might as well. Yeah. Otherwise, so like I said, they all can't fail because he's on the bottom floor. Yeah. So and I'm not planning on wrapping around you any further. So I'm just going to go to the front. So captain. Which one are you doing? I'm doing the intercessors because you've got your overwatch. Yeah, I thought you might. I just want intercessor overwatch. Nothing. Alright. So we'll move them in and come back with some fights. So we're going to start with the captain. No one's got any command points, so there's no interruptions here. So he's got four attacks. You can reroll the ones. He'll be hitting on twos, normally threes, because of the thunder hammer. So he's got all of them to hit. He'll be wounding on threes. You get no save, will you? Is it all my four or three? What's it, what's just two wounds, minus three for so a number of so sixes. Six. Yeah. Flat three, yeah. Yeah, flat three damage. See if one, well. so he's took three off. So they still not down below profile. No, but I'm hoping these guys. That's why I brought these in and a the chance they can knock the wound or two off and knock yeah. his profile down. So these hit on threes, can re roll the ones. It's a pretty good spread of hits. So Gulliman's still here. In spirit, he is. In pieces, he's on the floor. Yeah. This is where it matters though. Oh, three wounds. Not bad. So three, three ups. You want us to I want to spell a couple, yeah. Oh, no. Nah. He's still good. And then I'm going to nominate a unit that was in, so I'm going to go Tita Tara guy. Yeah, sure. Go D3. So an extra attack. It's going to go four attacks. Three hits. Fives to wound. Hey. Oh, three wounds at minus two, two damage a pop. Or minus, it might be minus one. It was minus two. Minus two, so he took four wounds off it. Yeah, it was, yeah. Two down to your pop, yeah. Down five, so you have to in down the next program. 
Right, so it's just me now, isn't it? Yeah, so which one are you going to go with? Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll go with him uh, and I'll go uh, four attacks on him, three on him and the tail. So we'll do the tail on you, Tita Tower Man. Uh, misses now. Miss, yeah. yeah. Uh, then the three uh, sirens on him and the four on the other one. Uh, so only one on him. Yeah. Uh, wounds on a three. No. So then on the uh, banner dude. Banner dude, four. Never split attacks, people. Oh no, we roll the ones. Oh sorry, I forgot to say at the end of the movement phase I had to heal the banner dude. Right. Because there was nobody yeah, else yeah, I couldn't fine. move to that's to fine. heal it. So I'll just do it. Okay, that never count. Yeah. So the wounds, both wound, minus three, flat through uh, D6 damage. He do, well, actually, he lost two wounds, so let's see how many he gets back. Well, he would have got two back, so he'd have been on full. Yeah, he's on full. And then it was, what, two wounds at minus three? Yeah, so six, is not he six, yeah, Dean? Oh, no, oh, and it's flat three damage, isn't it? No, oh, two D6. six. I need to go to Oh, he's definitely <laughs> dead. He's dead a fair few times over. Now the thing is, does he get back and punch you in the face? I don't think so. I'm sure I've seen people play the way the banner goes down. The he's not, oh, activated. Did yeah, really? yeah, yeah, just oh, dear, poo, me. poo. But I don't know that, so. So the banner goes down. And oh, then yeah. he can't attack, so it's you again. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'm just going to go all against the intercessors here just to get yeah. rid of them because I'm going to fight next yeah, first time anyway. They're going anyway, yeah. Yeah, so let's do the um, tail first. Misses, I'll take that. And then we'll do the power punches. One misses, is he still okay? Ooh, only three wounds. Mmm. It's all sixes. Oh, no. So first one does dead, second one dead, third one dead. Three. three dead. Well, one was wounded, so we'll take. We'll leave the sergeant on. Yeah, yeah. It's a thing that would happen. The sergeant yeah. would be like. And he's fresh as a daisy. And that's the end of my turn. Th was that three? Now it's your turn four. Turn four. Turn it. Turn four. Let's see if you can mop up shop. I've got three models. Turn four. Come on. Movement's done. Um, obviously, these guys didn't move. These advanced in. They just moved up, moved up. Obviously, nothing in shoot because everything's in combat. And he wants his B day. He hasn't decided. So this guy's run up as well. So straight into the set. Well, not run. He's just moved up so he can charge in. But no, he did the advance last so Did he? All oh, right. Okay. Oh no, charge. that's right. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that first. First one onslaught. Yeah. Goes off. Yeah. Does it? It's a six. Yeah. yeah it's not a so yeah, he can charge. He can charge. And then so then hereafter he'll smite. He's going to attempt his smitey against the medic. Goes off. It does, it's D3. Three. It's a three, so he'll go down to one wound. Um, uh, we're hanging in. So then uh, he will he will uh, set the screen first. Yeah, get rid of the guy. Get rid of the one in the way. Just goes off, it's a five. D3 more wounds. Two. Gone. Nah, he's gone. Yeah. And then And then he'll smite, I'm assuming, the captain. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Smite the captain. So Ooh, we'll get the reroll ones. That, with is, guys. that is sick, isn't it? That's the because the thing is as well in the psychic test doesn't still feels, doesn't go off. Yeah. Doesn't go off yeah, yeah. But that's the sick thing, isn't it? That it's like them ones are the ones that hurt you in the psychic yeah, phase, yeah. and they get the reroll in this flat, yeah. which is pretty pretty hardcore. So you'd accept that, yeah. And yeah. So the only thing we need to do is just charge him. He can't fail. Yeah, he's got, and he's got adrenal bands on him. And and I can't overwatch you, so he's in at the front of the building. Yeah. So you've got to go with the corn effects first. Yeah. So we'll go. What wound first? Does he just stand yeah, on him and kind of kill four him? Up. I was going to say, I bet he does. So yeah, <laughs> just flattens him. Good. So you'll tail him first. Tail whip. Bang hits. Wounds. Saves. Saves. Now the big sides. Do all once. That's a good round of hits. Three. Raise the wound. Take it. So many is that? Five. Six. Six. Oh, five. Sorry. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Five. So we're looking for three ups with the Shield Eternal. He's lost one. Now he halves his damage as well. Yeah, yeah. So you, you've done so, well, yeah. three up in ones. Generally, you've done pretty well. Four, so two. Oh, he's dead. Just if that was like a three on out, he's uh, dead. That was brutal. That was fast. It was. That was how we knew it would be. Uh, that was a turning point. The big fella not getting uh, back up. But it was cool to not have like... It was cool to fight monsters. That's what I wanted. I wanted uh, a game where Gilliman doesn't sit still. 
and just shoot, 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 and then keep backing off and shoot, no, shoot, shoot. You got involved. In I wanted to like. Yeah. Well, he killed the well, he killed the wall or he, he contributed heavily. Yeah. Well, what I said is originally, and if you hadn't a deep stroke, because the thing was turn one, you had so much stuff to deep strike around. If you didn't, I would have just quite happily marched up and just. You couldn't have. You would have had a castle. Anybody who who moved up with that amount of deep strike was just. Would just been dead. Yeah, they would have had like twelve charging units on them. But well, that was cool. Good game. Yeah. yeah. Good game. A nice resounding victory, victory yeah, for yeah. Behemoth. Yeah. Refreshing as well. Not to see cracking for a change. No, it was no. a couple of times you picked up three dice. I know. I couldn't help it. <laughs> no Gene Steelers. No, no Gene Steelers, Steelers in the box. Gene Steelers are really good, but they're not. They're, like I said, I think Tyranids are so good that they're not. They're not an auto take. You don't need to auto take Gene Steelers to do well. But you they are lock, exceptional. You lock things up with with cracking advance. You take yeah. Gene I, Steelers. Yeah, but that's yeah. what I mean. You're not going to be cracking if you're cracking Gene Steelers are. A definite given yeah, most yeah. but if you haven't any other setup with any other nid fleet then i think your monganda is the secret winner which yeah. no one really looks at yeah if you have a big monster list fexes and your monganda are yeah. very strong i think if you're going to be the monsters having corn effects on two up armor is yeah, scary even these guys are two up armor and stuff around there yeah, yeah. yeah so having a t7 model two up armor minus one to hit doesn't degrade is pretty it, scary just the, the fact that your models will have so many wounds as well loads of eight plus or seven plus wound models eight ten twelve but now that was so much fun that it was like it, it was coming down to dice rolls to like i had a feeling i'd pass lots of the end ones but the damage is so high that it's like is he going to get high damage is he going to get back in the get back up yeah. that was oh you did that you had a really good defense in terms of my first deep strike because i took so much damage just coming in i think you took longer to deep strike at the end of that oh, turn than you did for any, maybe two or three turns oh, yeah. in terms of time of yeah, doing it because yeah. it was sort of like <laughs> it was just a hell blast yeah. I'll drop me oh no I'll drop me and, oh hang on no I'll drop me and then it was like, a combination wasn't it I had yeah. to think about the hell blasters shooting back when the banner kicked them back yeah. up you had to think about your all spec scan. Yeah. And you had to think about that with regards even to for the rangers. Even for the guys that dropped yeah. in as well so it's like all the gribblies you say like, crap if I put them in front they could actually and then if I'm a nine and I smite, I'll increase my charge. So I was getting myself in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. But the Marines are rock. But it's fun. At, like, first, at, first try by Beamer. Yeah. Right, that it? was cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like the older Marines. I think, you know, for an extra couple of 150 points, a couple of change units around, I could make a really strong list. Yeah. That I'll tell you what made a big difference for me. Yes. Losing them. Yeah, you just took that out. And I'll tell you why. The heavy bowler with the strap with the D3 mortal wounds yeah. would have kicked in and been really good. was a tricky little tip um, at Devastator Squad. With, with a heavy bowler and a missile. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> we know all these tricks. Yeah, yeah. But it's points. You're looking at that. It's 65 points. And then it's 75 points for the heavy bowler. You're talking 100 points. When you get a missile launch, a heavy bowler and a five-man dev. But you get access to both those strats. So you're basically putting out 2D3 mortal wounds at range. Yeah, yeah. It was basically something that flies. And with well. a cherub for five points, you can do the heavy bowler one twice. Exactly. So. so it is really good. I know I didn't want to take it today. Yeah. Because yeah. we didn't say, like, not, let's not take horrible lists. But I didn't want to overly... Because literally, Gilliman was the first thing on my list. I was like, you know what? He's been on my shelf for months. Yeah. I want to use him. But then it was like... That was fun. In my head, straight away, the first thing I said, right... Two Devastator squads with missile launcher, heavy ball, like each scout's got. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Let's just go like basic and see what we can do, see what damage you can no, do. No damage, I think, more damage. The Hellblasters. Yeah, Hellblasters yeah, just, are solid. They're you, just, don't, you don't even get a 6 up save. Yeah. They just, just take things. No. I rate the Hellblasters massively. I rate the Intercessors just in terms of that resilience over a tactical squad, that yeah. range and the guns. Yeah. But the other stuff, like you said, it's, the Tyranids are so strong, say, your powers wise, that. Yeah. In theory, I should have probably known fighting terms. I should have took a second Saiga to back us up, maybe, but it's points are too yeah. expensive. You, you, you it's diminishing returns. You lose your points there, and you're still not going to be that exactly. Yeah. He's not, yeah. it's gonna, it's for the den if Tagarius can deny twice, he was as good as I could get. Yeah. Like having two Saigas, yeah. it's hard to take a Tyranid HQ that isn't a Saiga. Exactly. They're all Saigas. The, can you take an yeah, you can. There's a Prime and there's the, oh, a Tyranid um, Prime and the old one eye. Right, so there's two. Yeah. <laughs> two out of 12 choices, yeah. isn't it? Your thoughts? I think, I think the special, I think Death Leap, I think he's an elite now. But I think there's only two which don't aren't Saigas. So and for the, for the points as well, the really points efficient yeah, on it. Like, yeah. I hope they don't, you know what I hope they do in the FAQ? I hope they don't like increase stuff like that. I hope they keep it at a level so you can get a good amount of stuff on the table, yeah. but decrease maybe some of the Marine stuff so the Marines can get a bit more on, or like, yeah. I mean battle tanks, let them fire the main gun twice. Yeah. I don't think it's about nerfing the nids. I don't think anyone's too worried about the way the nids play at the minute. They've got that. They've got that ticks in the boxes. But I think it's more about the marines. Helping the marines. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
And it wouldn't take much. Like we've talked about, you said re-rolling a failed arm, a failed save, not just an armor save, once per phase. Yeah. I think stuff like a flat extra attack and a six up feel no pain for a marine. Yeah. Even carry that to the chaos marines. Yeah. It just means if you had something like that, you would have the option to not take kill them. Exactly. And then, and then have a game where you didn't have to solve. Sometimes your opponent's a bit. Oh, he's re-rolling everything. Yeah. But if you know if you had some better options, you wouldn't necessarily you wouldn't have let yeah. down that path. But I think with the, you look at them. You know, you say the Tyranid HQs. They're all. Multi wounds tick, high toughness tick, lots of attacks tick, lots of damage tick, mm -hmm. good in runs tick, psych as tick. Yeah. Right, so they get the marine equivalent. Fair enough, they don't buff as much apart from the brood lord. He yeah, the GCS. Much but the marine ones are a captain. You can fair enough, you can load them out like a smash captain. So output damage good in close yeah. combat. Yeah. Shoot your damage, not really. Yeah. Whereas if you look at yours, you can have all the twin link devour. So shoot your damage could be high, close yeah. combat. There's not the impetus for them to be you need to relate to the special character so it's someone like Gulliman yeah. and he is a monster he could literally like you said there you know I me mean, two of them things and he'd already oh, took yeah. a couple of wounds if he hadn't took those couple of wounds he would have probably still been alive yeah. and then he would have probably eaten them up and carried uh, that's what I wanted to do just keep going like smashing stuff and yeah. cutting it down and having the little dudes follow him yeah he's always going to suffer from more wounds I know that's, that's his, his thing, that's his thing. He that's should, I think Gilliman should have more wounds and a feel no pain yeah, well, he would die last cannons. I, I still think that's what he should do, though, because yeah. he's an imposing. He should be like yeah. ten or twelve Actually, wounds. He would, uh, he would get auto cannon death. That's what you would use. As soon as he hits ten, you would auto cannon. I still death. think that's I still think he should have it though. I think I still think he should be targetable. Yeah, and he should be tough, tougher. He should have a mortal wound blocker. I don't mind him not being targetable. I don't like him getting back up. I'm not that keen on that. Why not? Well, it's a 50-50 dynamic. It's yeah. sort of like it can make or break a game. I think in a list like yours, it's fine. Oh. It's, it's you, you're playing like a marine or the marine list with the oh, with Gilliman. You're thinking, yeah, these guys are going to be tactically immense. So you yeah. have to deal with them. So that's fine. It, it works. But I mean, when you're sort of getting silly things like standing next fell blades and yeah, sorry, James. I mean, <laughs> no, on James don't know what he's doing. <laughs> fell blades and fire raptors and everything yeah, like yeah, hovering around in a six inch bubble like that. It's always about as soon as the game doesn't look like forty k. Yeah. I think a lot of people it's harder to forgive the rule buff when it yeah, doesn't look like it's But when it looks like it, you go, yeah, okay, that's that's, that's what you like. Yeah. I like you know. It's an, it's, what should happen is what this game is. You absolutely forced me into a corner yeah. and there's so many of you that I had to fight my way out yeah, and that is exactly what it should have been turned in Marine. Yeah, so all Marines defending being an excellent defending like causing as many damage as But just my at the end of the day you had too many bodies yeah. and you piled through yeah. and that's exactly that's exactly what it should be like. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas it shouldn't be like I'm sitting there with all these tanks yeah. and then your army just goes yeah. <laughs> So basically it was a game and it could have went either way until Gulliman died. Yeah, uh, to be honest I think from the off I would have nodded the Tyranids got this. Probably, but what I'm saying is it was never a foregone. No, never a foregone. So when it's a foregone, it's sort of turn one and two. That's exactly. Like people stuck yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. It's a bit like that. Because, I mean, there's there's other stuff. A couple of roles could have went, but you made a couple of big armor saves on things like Carnifexes yeah. and these guys. I but dropped lots of four of them ones. I just couldn't make them. The it did, but it was against a lot of the smaller damage yeah, weapons and I didn't take many last cannons and stuff like that yeah. for the big monsters I think I just... you only got one shot with your dread and then you got smashed I think you did yeah. I think you hit though didn't you you got one, sh yeah, one shot and uh, I think you helped kill the complexes I think so yeah and then you took I think you got a last cannon on overwatch but uh... yeah, the thing is well I don't really want to take more than 10 hell blasters in my main 10s I only had 10 and I could quite easily have took like 20 I've got 10 in my army I think that's it yeah. when you start going 20 you start being there. feel bad it starts like you don't want to play this game and have fun and make sure people come back to play yeah, yeah. you don't want to be like here's Gilliman he has 50 hell blasters he has the banana and the apothecary yeah. or two apothecaries stop. or three apothecaries you stop yourself don't you? yeah because yeah. that's when I've seen people do that as well have like multiple apothecaries <clears> and then just sit one behind each hell blaster unit yeah I just for me I wanted to really try um, not cracking for a change because I think whenever people watch battle reports it's cracking all the same it's yeah. cracking it's refreshing I like seeing they add we talked about this a few times when 40k released its 8th edition I was massively excited when all the indexes come out because yeah. then everything was fair game again it was almost like re-exploring everything and it wasn't the case of right someone's bringing tell with this formation or this from 7th and it was a case of like Ugh. but I'm starting to see a little bit of that creep happen again like if someone's bringing this you know exactly what they're going to well 90% you could guess that list what they're going to do yeah, yeah. Do you want to say it as well for anybody watching these were painted this colour in Terrorite 6 edition yeah. So, uh, just so you know, it wasn't, I wasn't on no. the bandwagon. No, it wasn't. Yeah. They were definitely paying, and he's lying. <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> <laughs> he's not the word. I think most of our stuff, we, we've been the game for a long time. Yeah, yeah, so so most I of think stuff. in 6th, I was rocking um, Dark Angels, yeah. um, 
Tyranids and Negons, wasn't it? No, um, uh, Chaos. Cha- oh, so I had the worst, yeah. the worst three now. You definitely did, and then you took Negrons, and then the Jakurian land, and you were like, oh, I'm a winner, yeah, I'm a winner. Well, that's a ridiculous. I'm glad that's a way, actually. It was too much. I'm feeling a bit for the Negrons, like, because we've talked I, about this, like, the Destroyers. I'm not massively keen on the models. They look better once you've got them than they do, and I've been reluctant to add them, but you need them. You need long range firepower. And Negrons aren't really long range. They're not the 24 inch army, and in 40k, the way it is now, yeah. 24 is okay, yeah. but there's so much stuff causes so much damage once it gets. On that long range. And, well, they've got some units that are pretty long range. You've got, you've got a lot of 30, 30, 30s. Well, yeah. the standard gun's 30, all the riptides, and that can be like 60, 70 plus. Yeah, it's just you find a lot more 72s in the Marines and your uh, Eldars and things like yeah. that, like your last cannons and things like that. I think it depends. Well, the thing with the tower, like you're saying, it's more stuff and you know what people are sort of going to take. You get a lot of fire warriors now, yeah. people with the Mark Alites and some riptides, and their guns are like 60, 72. I, was, I thought I was coming up against tower today, I was expecting some. Well, I was going to take what I said, <laughs> I texted you, didn't I? And I said, like, yeah. Oh, what you bring, like, thinking that, well, you know, nah, because I was going to bring the towel, but I just didn't want, I, I think, I don't know. I actually looked at that when you come in, and I thought that's probably easier than towel. Oh, it would have been. My yeah. towel would have given you a much better fight. Because you had the, you, you, you would have run the towel set, wouldn't you? The tell five, it, the five of water 100% water. could tell you what was in the list if you wanted to know. There was Long Strike, yeah. any time I had, second time I had, Sky Ray, yeah. I had two broadsides with the, um, mm-hmm. two XV-88s with the missiles, mm-hmm. one with the real gun. Um, some Pathfinders, a Riptide with a cannon, yeah. a Commander with four Fusion Blasters, Dark Strider, yeah. did I say Pathfinders? Six units, I basically had a Brigade, I had a Brigade, right. Rockner Brigade, and all that, there was a 10 man of Fire Warriors and then the other ones were all 5 man. What you find with Tower is you've got so many little supplementary weapons that it seems to go on forever, so like, like you would have shot all your big guns, like the big nasty Big things, and then and all the little guns. Just went, Smart missiles at the double yeah. bronze, then smart with the next unit, yeah, whatever, and then they just whittle down over time. Yeah, yeah. The, the tower's are strong, they're very, very strong. And it, the reason I didn't want to use them is because I had a feeling you'd bring something not standard that you just wanted to have fun with. Well, you didn't have a feeling, I told you. Well, yeah, <laughs> but again, I still don't know what you could bring. You could have yeah. brought loads of stuff. Oh, You've got that big forge world guy and I've stuff. I've actually made um, a hydralist. Oh, ah, <laughs> wait, get it on next time. But uh, now nah, that. Yeah, the tower would have been Overwatch on five, support and fire with everything. It would have literally been, I'd have been sitting here on this setup. This would have been like my castle. Mm-hmm. And I'd have just quite happily let you cook. Because you wouldn't have been able to deep strike or have that many units. The same thing with towers, always the same thing. That as soon as you, uh, as soon as they're in and they're locked, you're a bit of a... Sort of, but that's why Dark Strider comes in, because he allows infantry to fall back and shoot. Does he? Yeah, okay. so you basically put him up here and you fall back in waves. Right. Which is why I didn't want to do it. And then long strike's good. But you probably, with your list actually, wouldn't have the long range to knock them out. You would have maybe whittled them down as a tank. Yeah, I don't have any long range. I had those, those two bad encounters with that. So but he could have hit, and he hits at that D6 with, you know, like, yeah. and then the other ones he boosts. Basically, I know, because I knew you'd probably have corn effects at minus one, but long strike yeah. hits on a two. Yeah. And then he'd be going to a three, which is fair enough. Mm-hmm. But then, like, you know, Mark Alex can let him reroll ones and all that kind of stuff. But he also boosts the other hell tanks, damn yeah. to hit on twos. Yeah. And a lot of people th- forget the Tau tanks are three plus, not four plus to hit. Yeah. So all the heavy tanks are hitting on threes. He makes them twos. The Sky Ray missiles have been updated, yeah. so they're not crappy one more to wound. Mm-hmm. They're basically six strength eight minus two d six damage six. What what they call the one shot marine ones? Oh, they're like the uh, hundred killers. Hundred killers. Yeah. So it's basically got six hundred killers, and that hits on a three the tank, but it adds a plus one to units will fly. Yeah. So you could have dropped in your thingies. Yeah. And I could have just like unloaded missiles in them and stuff, and it would have been interesting as well. I'd, I'd, it'd be worth playing, but I think with that one, like we said, I think what would happen is I'd absolutely wipe you off before you contacted or killed enough stuff, yeah. or you'd have got in and had fluff, then you'd kill everything. Yeah. And it's going to be either or. There's going to be no middle ground. Yeah, that's why I always, it's a bit like God as well. I, I like playing them, but then it does sometimes it goes. I didn't my first. I didn't get my charges in. Oh, I was too far away. Or the yeah. setup was bad. And you've you've caused so much damage on there. Yeah. You're shooting first couple of shootings of the game's over. Yeah. Or you didn't cause enough. Now I'm in, and then you. And then you're dead because all your tanks are tired. Yeah. In the game, over. That's, that's yeah. Happens a bit with because I think you've got these. Um, you've got the game's four phases, isn't it? So I like all my armies that I pick. I always like to be able to play in all the phases. Do something and everything. And I always think that God and Tau are sort of giving up some of like they give up the tau give up the psychic and more or less the hand hand phase. So they're only really moving tune. Yeah. Guard 
most of most of the time give up the movement yeah, phase. Yeah, they've got bits, they've but got, and they do do some psychic, but and then they've got some hand to hand, but they, 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 they give up quite a lot of phases, and I think if you're giving up phases and your opponent's competing in them, well, that's that's how you make the difference against yeah. those armies. Yeah, like, overload you phases, overload the phases yeah. they don't operate in. It's like Eldar, like that's why the, you know what. I thought there's all the people saying Eldar are too strong. I don't think they're too strong. They're strong, yeah. but it's because they're good in every phase. Yeah. They've got options, psychic, they're strong, yeah. shooting, they're strong. And what you tend to find is the people that use Eldar armies are pretty smart with what they use. Yeah. So it's not that they're overpowered. They're just picking the right tools for the they're job. They're a little bit lacking in hand to hand. They've got one or two hand to hand. They yeah. definitely yeah. are. They shoot the units like the striking scorpions and banshees on. Strength three really skills them. What's you get exactly? You get yeah, strength, you four. strength four on the scorpions. scorpions but it's, it's just Scorp- like a marine. You never Scorp- a marine squad. No. Scorpion X Archer is decent. The X Archer is decent, yeah. but the rest of the squad, not as much. And then, like I said, the the soup, the Eldar superlists work because you, the uh, Incubi or what striking scorpion should be a bit more yeah. like, like with power weapons. Yeah. So whoever's the god of war, as you would think, why is he giving power weapons to strength three guys? Yeah. You should give them the higher strength ones to make them work more. But I still like them, like I like the Eldar, and they are just strong in every phase. But if Tau, if Tau had say guys, yeah. they'd be we will pay. None of this is a moan. I think it's a, um, I think it's still a better edition by about. A million oh, a hundred million miles. Yeah. Miles, yeah. So what it is is we went from sort of being concerned and talking about things like the Jakuyan or the what was the Marine detachment. With all oh, the with all the all the transports yeah. free and stuff, and the drop pod one with the devastators. So you went from you know stupid stupidity like that, which yeah. was ruining it. To, you know, you're now we're talking yeah. back to talking about minutiae. It's yeah. actually good. No, it is good. Yeah. I think the formation things for me were, were cool when they first started to come out. Yeah, they're really cool. This is good. They're forcing you to make it look like the yeah, pictures. like to take it. Yeah. What what was cool about it was I thought it's like yeah, make it look like so a, a detachment that we get now yeah. would actually come like a detachment should be built. You would have the captain and lieutenant, yeah. maybe a couple of tactical squads of rhinos. Yeah. So actually, yeah, that's what a detachment should look like. Then yeah, it got stupid. It's like you take a drop or the devil's going to shoot and we will. Uh, yeah. And the Jakurians, like everything gets back. Well, just, I think we played the Jakurian once, and then it was it got to the point where the, the casualty weight on the next one was near nothing. Yeah. And I think we just thought, I never played it again because I thought it's just horrible from our opponent. Yeah. So they made it so good you didn't want to play it. And they made it so good that realistically, why would you take anything else? Yeah. It's There was no incentive to have any other build. No. It was funny because they didn't have a lot one. Yeah. They never got one. They moved on to eight before they got one. Yeah. So I was always I was always waiting to see what they were gonna get, but they never did. They got some they got weird uh, detachments and uh, uh, I think it was f- it was apocalypse, they've got a fan. Oh, no, no, there was just there was a three part thing, it was like I think it was Leviathan or something like that. It was it was when the um the Blood Angels thing came out. Oh all right. Blood Angels uh, I think it was Leviathan one, two and three and they got loads of weird little rubbish detachments. I hear the brains. Yeah, I must apologise. That one's just a normal zony. Um, I've got another. So you cheated to win. Cheated, cheated to win. win. Uh, <laughs> terrible. Right, cool. We'll get this one online soon. I think we're gonna have it. It's gonna gonna be a couple of random. The next batch we're gonna have this. I'm gonna film two games soon, aren't I? But it's. Yeah. I'm gonna use Death Watch, I think. Yeah. And you're bringing we'll World Leaders, yeah. and then I don't know who the games are going to be against if anyone's watching this because we're going to randomise it to make it fair. Yeah. But Tom will be bringing the Pink Nades, yeah. and I think Dave's bringing some sort of Marine Knight, you know, mix. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we'll pack this up and catch you later.